What's up guys? This is a fall of 2020 blueberry planting, specifically blue crop that I've got going on here. These are blue crop that were planted in 2019 and they're coming into their third year. Um, I'm going to kind of walk you through some of the do's and don'ts and hopefully it helps you out and cover as much ground as I can in a short amount of time. So first and foremost, you can see these are on raised mounds. Um, that's because blueberries do not tolerate a saturated soil. If I were to just dig a hole in this ground and throw a blueberry plant in it, it would quickly die in the spring because it would be saturated um, with too much water. So what we do is we raise the soil about 18 to 20 inches up off the ground. Blueberries are shallow rooted so they will not go down into the native soil in this field. They'll just stay in this mound. They only go about 12 inches at the deepest. Um, these mounds were created about uh, eight months ago. They had sulfur tilled into them. You can see that the soil is nice and fluffy and it's still um, damp but not wet. And this just got three inches of rain on it a couple days ago. And the temps are high of like 55. So that's what you want. You can see we've cut this channel down through here. We've thrown our blueberry plants in it and then filled the channel with peat moss. The peat moss is naturally acidic, and the blueberries will thrive in that acidic environment. It's got a lot of um, organic matter to it, um, which they also love. It's light and fluffy. doesn't have any nutrients to it, but we'll solve that quickly with just some fertilizer. Um, this is not the time to add the fertilizer. You want to add it in the spring at bud break, and then again when you have the fruit starting to turn green. I'd recommend on this first year planning to go ahead and pull the flower buds off of these things and they will grow almost double in size. Whereas if you let them fruit, it's really going to stunt their growth because they'll put the energy into the fruit and not into the roots in the plant. So I know it's like detrimental that you want to get some fruit off of them your first year and it's exciting. But if you pull it off, you'll have tenfold the fruit the following year and the plant will grow so much more. So, um, so yeah, once we get these things um, set in this mound, we'll pull the native soil back over the top, which is acidic, so it's fine to use, but the peat moss really gets a jump start, and then we'll mulch them with pine bark, um, which is also um, adds a lot of um, organic matter to the soil as it breaks down. It also retains some of that moisture in there and keeps the roots cool in the summertime. Um, we'll follow the mulching up with pecan shells because it's cheap for us to get a hold of sometimes even free um, a side note do not add mushroom compost cow manure chicken litter or any of those things i know it works for other things that you garden but it will not work for blueberries and the roots are very sensitive you will kill the plant don't do it i know that it's very tempting and you think you know that it's going to work but it's not going to work trust me on this one um also, it's a good idea cutting this channel down through here for the, the peat moss so the roots will grow laterally down the rows and um, instead of just confined to pots like this. Um, this plant was actually grown in peat moss and pecan shell mixture just to see if there was any negative implications of using uh, pecan shells with the blueberry. And uh, there were not. It did really well. And there's actually a university article that you can Google that... Um, has some really good information on using pecan shells versus um, pine bark. If you can get a hold of pine bark cheaply, I would definitely use it, but um, it's not easy for us to get and it is expensive. So we've got to look for alternative methods to get that mulch on the plant. Um, they do love the mulch because they just like growing in that um, broken down state of decaying matter. And um, if you actually rake back the mulch on these plants, after the first year, you'll start to, you'll see the roots growing in it. Um, anyways, um, these plants over here were actually use some um, sawdust, which works good, but I wouldn't put it over the top of the plants. So I hope this video helps, and be sure to like and subscribe, and be sure to get your soil right before you plant. Good luck.